everybody, and how are we doing today? Thank you, Cole We are Michael. the big fellas. That was too energetic. I'm That's sorry. Hardy. All right. We, we have some. We have a lot of people here today. What is it? Seven people? There's nine, nine of us. Six. Six. There's nine of us. There's nine of us. Nine. Two, four, Good math, my guy. Good math. Dang, you go back yeah. to uh, math class? Shut up. I never pay in math class. <laughs> <laughs> you never pay yes, in math class. Yes, can we get a thumb Me neither. Yeah. All right. All right. Um. And we have Alyssa back. Alyssa's back. My yeah. brother Jeb. Um, Jeep. Yeah. Kathleen, my girlfriend. And no one back. Noah, back, back from a long trip. That's right. To a long, beach. long trip. Long, American, long journey. American so would you like to trip. elaborate? Yeah. I, well, I've been. I've traveled so far to seven states. I've been. I think seven. Yeah. Michigan, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana. Arkansas. Yeah, Arkansas. I know it's the most. Okay, hold on. Let me just pause real quick on Arkansas. <laughs> For anybody that in the future listens, Arkansas is probably one of the most blandest states you can ever go to. There, uh, I thought like, that would be Alabama. It's like Arkansas and Missouri were like the most upsetting states to ever be in. Colorado, though, I went to Colorado. Like even the food in Arkansas. <laughs> Are you good? <laughs> Are you hey, done you dying? Like, Are you done yet? <laughs> you want to stop? Thank you. <laughs> I know, I'm roasting Missouri and Arkansas. And, 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 yeah. I just started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I started laughing. <laughs> so Can you not? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they're horrible places, <laughs> but that goes yeah, too. Uh, no, it's just really bland. There's too. nothing exciting there. There's like it's in the middle of the U.S. and I was there, and I just it just wasn't great. It was just a lot of highway, and that's really what it was. The hunting in those areas, no. very good. Uh, though. I mean, yeah, they could yeah. be, but yeah. 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 Um, so uh, I am part of what you could consider. Yeah, you could consider it a ministry, but it's the one of a kind in. Um, I'd say North North and South America. Mm-hmm. It's one of a kind. And so continent? two of our continents of the entire world, which is actually kind of cool. So we travel all over the place, play music. I'm the bass player, so I'm pretty much mm-hmm. not important. Now, is this for the Church of John? No. <laughs> that that I have to – that it, Jeb, is that actually even in North or South America? That, no, it's I think exactly I in the entire time. <laughs> what? Which is not picking up the entire time. I'd also like to okay. point out that Cole really has changed so the position of his sunglasses three times since the start of the podcast. <laughs> 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 it still is really But yeah, so, but I've been, anyway. If you would like to know more about John. <laughs> you have to look ordained. into the camera. If we you also can. have a uh, ordained minister among us, so thank you. For we that. do have an ordained minister among us. Was ordained in Dudism. Yeah, do you ordained want in Dudism. How is that possible? Uh, you go online and you put your <laughs> name on a certificate. Dudism is not real. Jeb's just a false prophet. Thank you, Jeb. Jase is the one true God. He wrote a paper on it. Mind you, we are in a church, and he's saying this. Oh, Colorado Springs is beautiful. I went. Oh man. At the, it was at the perfect That's because he was high on pot the whole time. No, actually, I didn't even. I went to. There was the garden. We don't talk about drugs in church. Yeah, thank you, Greg. I love drugs. Did you try shrooms while you were there? You no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there is. We went to these hot springs, and the hot springs is probably my favorite place because when you go, it's like a 30 foot river, okay? In the middle, I'd say like the 15 feet in the middle is like negative like two degrees cold but on we the outsides there's cold. lava that flows underneath um sides and so it's like 98 degrees so you make like a little cove of rocks and you <laughs> sit I, and i sat there for like three hours i'd say and chillaxed you meant to say pot springs yeah Colorado. a giraffe <laughs> you're an old meme um, but yeah, and then Texas, honestly, Texas is not as exciting as I thought it would. I don't, yeah. I don't, I Texas isn't. Nor- yeah. Maybe if I Me went to Cole South, but n- n- yeah, North Texas was like not very exciting. They did make this thing called a breakfast pizza though, which was actually kind of good. Is there as many guns as advertised in Texas? Like yes. That. Yeah, there, there is. Yeah, I there's actually. As many gun, gun stores as there are boot barns. Uh, <laughs> boot barns. Yeah, the, uh, the Wawa's around here is like boots. the gun stores out there. It was more of like, Yeehaw. yeah, like gun gun stores are mostly like the pawn shops was really like. Did nice. you go to like, nice. uh, where were we, San Antonio? No, that's south. I went to Dallas though. Dallas was oh, like not there. as exciting Atlanta as I thought either. Dallas. Oh, sorry. Okay. Like Dallas Texas was kind of like <laughs> a small version of Philly, to be San honest Antonio with you. San Antonio was a lot of shops. 
Yeah, I, I've never out. been, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah Josh's 40 minutes out. to get anywhere. <laughs> anywhere, oof. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I don't feel like it. But we did, in Texas, though, I did go to this really cool ranch where it was, had all these little cows and stuff like that, but it had they had a baby cow there. It was two days old, and it was... it was. <laughs> Actually, it was pretty cool because it was a, it was a mi- it was a little mini heifer, and she <laughs> heifer. Hugh heifer. <laughs> it's a little mini Hugh heifer. I know you're not into and all, but like oh no, it's Jeff's a, into heifers. Oh yeah. I don't think that's <laughs> the right to live. <laughs> wow. Uh, gonna... When we were in Texas, we went to a rodeo, and a lasso fell off one of the people's coaches. So I. <laughs> It was in the middle of the road, so we were driving. And you was finessed a lasso? And I got out and I finessed it. Giddy oh, was there not oh and picture he was um, lassoing us in yes, the middle of a Texas Walmart. Of mm-hmm. I, I, thought there was. I have many I mean, that's literally, you're living the stairs there of the people of Walmart right there. So Paul and Miss is stealing something now. And he turns his goods on. Yep. I steal all the time. Oh, he found it. And lassoing us in the middle of Walmart. I would say, it was if you found it, it wasn't stealing. I feel like Wyoming's the most boring state. No, okay, so fun fact. I just checked this out. In Wyoming right now, it is the same temperature as Antarctica. Negative 23. Wyoming is in really good. (laughs) (laughs) Whoa. So uh, where else do you you have to go on your trip? I have to go east. Anywhere. (laughs) (laughs) The world of swirly, swirly. (laughs) No, I go to... I'm going to go kind of in the middle. I'm going to go to Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, and then Florida. So that should be fun. It is a dream. And I'm going to the to one to place where the Wawa is in Florida. Which hey, anything goes in Florida. Anything, anything does go. I want to go to Tennessee. You should so not anything. <laughs> yes. Oh, anything. I wanted to stay in Nashville. We were there. Can we can we take a trip to Nashville? Na- yeah. Nashville? I went to Nashville a couple weeks ago. It was actually yeah. kind of cool. Oh, nice. I mean, the I just flew into there. Fun. The airport was fun. I yeah. You didn't leave the airport. <laughs> you you live you just stayed the night in the airport. We were in the airport for like 30 minutes. What what fun can you have in 30 minutes in the middle of an airport? A lot of fun in an airport. Yeah, dude, just bring a skateboard. I mean, if you skateboard. I, I brought I did bring my penny board as a carry on and I did skateboard through an airport. That's not TSA that's is a lot not of like when you skateboard through <laughs> an airport. Not. What did they What did they say to you? Get off! Hey, stop! stop. <laughs> hey, you, get on the ground, they said, the "Hey, yo!" That, that was they said, "Cut the nonsense out." Wait, what that's if you nonsense. went on the penny board on the moving walkway? Whoa! I mean, that's like double blind. the speed. Wow. So you like. This is where I need, like, like I the lines coming at me, like, there. Naruto, like, you know, on a skateboard. So, we're doing that. Yeah, I, it's... How? When we go to Florida. But that's considered a carry on, though. Yeah. Guys, I got a question. Real quick. New podcast. Shoot. Video. Go, Shoot. Jeff. Good. Who would win in a race? The Flash or Bolt? Bolt. Bolt. Bolt's the dog. Bolt. 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 I, I, Great I, I movie. I Bolt. Bolt. Very underrated. Bolt. Honestly, I'm going to say The Flash. That movie is so underrated. Yeah, I'm going to say The Flash. I, I I'm going to say The Flash because I here's why. The Flash actually, had actual powers. The dog did not. Okay, it's just, that's, that's a lie. Are we that talk, is a lie. The dog did not have powers. He was on a TV show. He was an actor. That is a lie. Are we talking? This is definitely a different point for Greg. Are we talking the TV? in the movie, he's an actor in a movie. Yes. interrupting Are we talking about the dog when he's acting or? The dog when he's acting, of course. The dog when he's acting, of course. No. If you're talking about the dog when he's acting, I gotta go to the dog. I gotta go Bolt. No. Dude, no. He's okay, he's all so much other stuff. Here, I'm gonna all Bolt it. I'm needs gonna to do is just do the super bark, and then the Bolt flash is, is like done. Like a, isn't he, doesn't he got right? the super bark or something? He's done. Yeah, speak. He speaks. Yeah, speak. All right, it's Bolt, time that speak. we do a scientific analysis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> his super bark, and then the flash is done. He'll try. Think of it like this. If I were the flash... I wish. I think I would win because, well, also, and the, he has good perks along going with the, like, if you're the Flash. Like, if you're Bolt, cool, you're a cute dog. But if you're the Flash, I'm making all the yard Flash sales first. I fi- I I'm found making all the best. first yard sales because I'll be there. <laughs> I'll make all the yards. I will make all the yard sales. I found out how fast instantly. Flash can run. How, no, if he can, if he, he can run fast enough to be back in time. He's to make time duplicates so himself. So, his, his top speed, his top speed is Mach 3.3 or... 2,532 miles per hour. All right, no, I run Bolt. faster than that. Bolt definitely hit Mach 12. <laughs> <laughs> he's not Speed Racer. There's, I don't think so. What about Bolt? Hold on. Looking it up. You're right. He's faster than the Speed Racer. Okay. All right. Right. It, brings up, it brings up Usain Next. Bolt when you look up Bolt. No. <laughs> Bolt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it definitely Bolt did. The dog. Bolt the dog, please. <laughs> you 
I think he, my dog. I think <laughs> Usain Bolt <laughs> might have it on. I don't Bolt know dog. what I just did, honestly. I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> All, I heard was... <laughs> All I can hear is bass boost. Uh, I think it came from my face. I don't know. How? I don't know. I went like this. <laughs> okay. It's like. <laughs> What was it, the doodle bops where they would, like, hog the nose? Wikipedia nose. page of Bolt. Like, so. Oh, perfect. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, Wikipedia. Um, this is what we're resorting uh, to. Voiced by John Travolta, by the way. So. Is it really? Wait, really? I didn't, Wait, really? I didn't know that. John Travolta. Wow. Uh, nope, that's not it. I haven't seen that movie. Before. John Travolta? That is such an underrated movie. No way. You know what's an underrated movie is the Goofy movie? Yes. Like, yeah. the I original. 100%. Movie. I couldn't get into no. it. You couldn't get into it. No. You're psycho. I could never yeah, you were, you I go born. with Jeff. The Goofy movie is terrible. <laughs> yeah. You were a 90s born. kid, so you wouldn't get it. Who agrees that the Goofy movie sucks? You're kicked off the podcast. Not yeah. I, because I think Take that care. movie's You're great. Kicking- That's a great movie. I don't remember that movie. It's the f- the first I, one was To be great. honest, I don't think I've ever really And then when he comes home, movie. and then when he's going to college. Think about Into Not All Heroes, where Kate the Goofy, Goofy goes is to college. A hero. Christmas great is movie. Better. Never well, watched it. It actually thing. is a good movie, though. But Never not as good. I wouldn't say better. But think about it. Goofy, he's a dad. Just a dad that lives on, like, his own. And he takes care of his son, even though his son, most of the time, can't stand his own father. But Goofy does everything he can, despite being a despite being a klutz. He, like, what? Explain to me the lore. Uh, yeah, it's motivational. The lore of the Goofy movie? Well, his son, so Goofy's son, Goofy's son wants to, like, make it on, like, the show. Yeah, he, yeah, it was. He wanted to be on that like that pop show, and then but the dad. Right, I can't find any oh, what's the song? Yeah, I can't okay, find so anything on both. Flash wins. Flash wins. Flash wins. Right. Yay! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hear me out. Ding 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 ding. Bolt wins because the Where's flash sucks. <laughs> All right. Dude. What? Good job, Jeff. I think you're just power. biased yes, towards logic. DC. Did you no. just mute the whole thing? You like just, Marvel? Hold up. Can you we just think don't about like this? Bolt came out 12 years ago. We watched the Joker. Yo, speaking of crazier, crazier. Speaking Finding of... Dory came out four years ago. Yeah, Did it really? Yeah, if it came out in 2016, I watched yeah, it last night. I feel so old. Speaking of old, man, 2020? Frozen the 1 came yeah, out in 2013. Oh, I don't even want to think of that. 2020? What yes. is going on? Frozen yeah, 1 20. came out in 2013. Frozen 2? Good no, movie. This year. Yeah. Yeah. I was 13 when it came out. I'm afraid that I'm going to be. Okay, wait. Frozen 2 is better than Frozen Wait. Wait, it's so good. I need to hear. I need Frozen to hear two is better than Frozen One. Bro, I don't think so. I, do. I don't think Frozen Two is. Better. I like how. I don't wait, like. Oh, I wait. I don't let like me wait. 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 Let wait, him wait, talk, wait. man. We, we, we all haven't seen. Uh, no it. one else yeah, no has seen Frozen yeah. Two besides. Okay, two. I'm not gonna spoil care. anything. No. I'm just saying I liked how they gave Kristoff yeah, a bigger, spoil a bigger role no, 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 no. in the second one than the okay. first one. <laughs> yes. I feel like they mitigated his role. He was the guy who proposed. He turned into the guy who tried to propose the whole movie. Greg, shut up. I need to hear uh, spoiler. His <laughs> song though is a. <laughs> I know this song's so good. His song is amazing. Wait, which one? He has two. Like, uh, Lost in the Woods. Lost in the Woods, best song. Best song. Lost in the Woods is amazing. Like, Greg, seriously, shut up. This is something we really need to argue about. What? Movie of the decade. Wow. Oh. All right, so now oh, we're Revenge now, now of the Sith. I, I mean, are you talking personal or like through critics? Can we look up? Can we look up movies from to the decade question? Okay. Movies of the decade. So, best movie of the decade. Um, wow. Well, I mean, something that I know off the top of my head. Um, Rogue One was pretty good. It's definitely Jumanji. <laughs> not, not. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it was not that good. Oh, Rogue Black One, Panther. out of what Disney's doing right now, I would say Rogue One was pretty good. It had good visuals. But yeah, like, that's why I, I look at their visuals. The I look at the plot. No, no. Right, we're really going to look at varieties.com best film of the decade. Go by um, I, IMDb. Number one. They, they're really Story good. Three. Number one, The Social Network. Really? It was Number it two, La La Land. That was yeah, actually okay, really, oh my goodness. When did that come out? That came out right, so to 2016. These are movies Whoa. that came out in the 2010s, and there is a... I see. Wait, you're just doing 2010? I found one on another Because I'm doing the full decade out. Yeah, no, 2010. Yeah. So Number decade. three is Mad oh, Max. I have another one. Not this surprised is, by that. This is a list I found. Number one's Get Out. No. no. Two, Frozen. No. Three, not. The Avengers. Oh, yeah. Endgame. There's Endgame. Yeah, the original one. Four, four, Mad Max. four Mad Max. Four Mad Max. Ooh, yeah. number six, Bridesmaids. That was a great movie. Five. <laughs> that was a great movie. <laughs> <laughs> Five, call me by name. It's coming out like Lana. Call me by your name. Uh, six bridesmaids. <laughs> it? No. Ooh. No. 
No, I hated it, it was, too. It was not that good. It too was awful. Um, it too was, it too was awful. I'm thinking uh, Pet Cemetery. Anyone? Okay. What about <laughs> What about Guardians? That movie was a meme. I really liked I Guardians. Can't stop this feeling. The soundtrack. Okay, the soundtrack. I gotta give it. The soundtrack for that movie was amazing. Yeah. The soundtrack for that movie was amazing. What website do you want? Oh, no, I didn't. What website? I would put that in number one. Okay. Yeah, I'd say so. It's probably one of the best. Number seven. It's like well made, but like not entertaining. According to Red Book Magazine, this is their top 20. So number one, like they said, they have a Get Out, two Frozen, three Avengers, four Mad Max, five Call Me By Your Name, six Bridesmaids, seven they have Spotlight. What's that? Moonlight. Eight they have Lady Bird. Nine Moonlight. Moonlight dog. Uh, Moonlight got really ten real. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, really? There it is. Eleven The Social Network. Twelve La La Land. Thirteen Roma. Fourteen Wonder Woman. Don't no. know if I agree. With no, that. no, I disagree with that. I've never seen it. seen it. Fifteen Inception. I heard that was really good. Sixteen The Wolf on Wall Street. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. No. That was Seventeen good. Oh, Black uh, Panther. I was oh I yes. I really liked Black Panther. Panther. Eighteen oh, The Favorite. The CG was bad, but I really liked Black. Oh, Panther. I don't agree with this at all. Nineteen The Force Awakens. Eight. Throw that at number ninety nine. A New Hope. <laughs> <laughs> a New Hope Part Two. <laughs> Twenty Boyhood, which I've never even heard of. It's Is the that the one where they the follow the kid for like twelve years yeah. or something? This like website has John Wick as number eighty one. You guys aren't thinking. Yeah, I mean. John Wick's Guys, a great film. Not. This has this has John Wick eighty one. You looked at Variety, right? Yeah. I'm looking at Film Lego School Lego Rejects. <laughs> right. Oh wait, I'll I'll give Jeb this one say. Go ahead, Jeb. Are you on Go ahead. We haven't gone back far enough. We've 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 talked about the Richard movies of the two thousands and so on. Move your microphone. That's the decade, buddy. I know. In far, 2011. How, oh, okay. okay. This, movie, you want to go? this movie came out in 2011, and I think you all have just forgotten about it, or you're just too stupid to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Very cool. Here is the title. Fred 2. <laughs> 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 all right. Now you're muted. So all right. Come on. Oh, my goodness. So do we, do we want to get into more decade stuff? Yeah, we can. What about best songs? Best songs? Best songs. I, mean, I think we should start off with best album. Okay, wait, but I found one. one. It's this going is, down. This is Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> Tom Yell and Timber. Timber. This is Rotten well, Tomatoes. If we're going to do, like, I, song, I if we're gonna do <laughs> song or album, I mean, just start from Cole and we could do, like, <laughs> I'll, do, I'll, I'll do, I'll do. All right, all right. So. I found Rotten Tomatoes. Top 200 movies of the 2000s. Do not read 200. Do not read I'm 200. I'm not. I'm going to read the top five. Okay. Is it that bad? one, Zootopia. Yes. Come again. That was a good movie. <laughs> that was a good movie. Two, Zero Dark Thirty. Okay. Okay, that was yeah. Number three, Your Name. Never saw it. Never saw it. Four. I can't critic. X Men: Days of Future Past. Noni. Really? That was a good movie, but I wouldn't put that. Five in the movie. for best movie of the decade. <laughs> Wonder Woman. <laughs> By Rotten <laughs> Tomatoes. Six. Won't you be my neighbor? What about Horns and Hears Seven? Seven. <laughs> Wildlife. <laughs> Eight, The Witch. That was okay. Nine, Widows. And ten, Whiplash. I already know what that one I heard that. Too. I Yeah, I agree with Whiplash. Okay, so I have the top 20 songs of the decade, according to Billboard.com. We, we were doing albums I for me. We'll go around. Great, the True Grit revamp. Let's, let's okay, we'll do albums let's, first, let's, and then we'll let's do songs. Go, let's go yeah. around. All right, so, so Cole, my favorite ahead. album of this, it, it, it's very recent, and I think everyone's not going to be shocked. Um, Hollywood's bleeding. I didn't oh. think there was a bad. Mm. Song oh, you on stand. That. That's mine too. I didn't think there was a bad oh, song on that album. Too. Beer bongs and Bentleys and that one. I think it's. The, the, there really weren't any bad songs on either of those albums. We found Go ahead, Chad. Nick. Yeah. What's no, your favorite? I agree. Um. Probably 2014 Forest Hill Drive. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. That's a great album. Yeah. Great album. J Cole. Uh, I love it. That's a real. There was a lot of great music. You're going out of order. You're, You're going, going out, out of order, order buddy. Okay, we gotta wait for Ryan. Right. Throw a chip in the middle. My favorite song. I just have to bring this one back. Um, while there was a lot of good art, music and artists this year, I think we're forgetting someone. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he says. If he I says think. Fred. <laughs> no, he's not gonna say Jaw. I don't wanna be like Greg. Number one. Yeah. How beautiful dark. <laughs> <laughs> so Yay. this year. Oh. 
this year brought us a lot of new rappers and a lot of new artists. And, and they also took away a lot of new rappers. My gosh, you were taking so long to talk. Like, oh my gosh, some spit it out. We lost along the road to this Paul Walker. Where we are. The notorious big. <laughs> B I G. It's B I G. No. Okay. Too first high. off, they're too they're both still alive, chilling somewhere what in Cuba. What does this have to do? They might be, but I thought we were talking about albums. Music anymore. <laughs> we also <laughs> missed <laughs> Tupac. Um, oh, I, I think I did that. And <laughs> one that struck strikes close. Can you kind of can you speed it up? Jose on for one. There it is. I don't need that. Next. We were waiting on it. Jesus. All right. My favorite album was probably um, Luke Combs, What You See Is What You Get. Really? Yeah. I I'm have every side. song downloaded. Heaven it's so dark. good. He what? stands Luke Heaven Combs. It's so good. Play my up? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, the first thing that came in my head was um, Beer Bongs and Bentley, so we're going with that. <laughs> <laughs> but can we, wait, can we not forget any of the Kids Bop albums? Oh, God. Put no. that out there. What are we, are we like, Kids Bop 40? Do you ever hear, um, Bunch of, you wanna know how my doctor is? Wait, my doctor. Wait, I'll read my <laughs> She's changing her album. Center Point Road. Who? By who? By Thomas Rhett. Oh, oh so that's yeah. Uh, that is a good one. <laughs> that's a goodie. Uh, uh, that's a goodie. Uh, uh, I went to that. Yeah. But I didn't, <laughs> <laughs> didn't know it. Um, Just I'm gonna have to like say this. either. Yeah. 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 Come on, we know what it is. <laughs> What is it? Take a guess. Kanye. Kanye. No, it's not. Anything? Oh, oh Kanye wait. Was How to, one. to Pimp a Butterfly. No. Is it, um, what's it called? Is it Travis Scott? I'm surprised by this. No. Wait, um, Jake. It's, Astro, it's not Astro World. No. Uh, Mac Miller Swimming. Really? So, Ooh. Um, Damn. Wow. Okay. Interchangeable with Astro World. So, <laughs> uh, y'all yeah, got that, that right. Astro but swimming. Jeb, what yeah. was your favorite album? Oh, this boy. is gonna surprise you, but it's not from Ja. Oh. Although, <laughs> wow. Wow. It's wow. not wow. question mark. Like Fred that. 2, the album? <laughs> <laughs> While I do hold Ja very close to my heart, I'd, I'd like to say bring in some, Thank you. some fresh material. We gotta get some back. I feel them. like the Backyardigans never had a bad song. <laughs> Actually, some of their songs are bangers. I'm like unique like one. Yes. Yeah. That shh, is a shh, slapper secret. right there. That was one of their f one of their first Green episodes, Green actually. Green <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was, no, it was a kangaroo, <laughs> Austin the kangaroo. Oh, for yeah, he was a kangaroo. And my name's Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Uniqua. What? I'm oh, fun <laughs> fact, actually, fun <laughs> fact about the the <laughs> Tasha, the hippopotamus. I went to school with yeah. her all from middle really? school to high school. Like the, I went, like the voice of yeah. Uh, oh, shout out to John famous Aziz, famous. but yeah, I went to I went to high school. Ain't that something? That's and crazy. yeah, all right, can anyone tell Rating me Borgies. what's Uniqua? Uniqua, she's a bug. Wait, we need to get her on the podcast to explain what Uniqua was. Then why Uniqua is, was, she's a bug. is she a bug? Yeah, she's a bug. She's, she's, she's unique. unique. How about that? That's yeah, she that's was, she like is unique. Unique. was Uniqua. <laughs> Uniqua was the side. Was the <laughs> You're welcome for my insight. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> why don't why question the size. It must be from Australia. All right, Greg. Greg, what's your favorite album? So I'm stuck between two right now. Okay. Either Rodeo, or My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. They're Who's they're Rodeo by? Come on. Kanye, yeah. Kanye. They're both Kanye? No, no. Travis. One's Travis. Okay. Kanye. Rodeo is a masterwork. Yeah. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fanny. Masterwork. Fanny. 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 Fantasy. Fanny pack. Fanny pack. Noah, what's your favorite? He's, he's, I have... I need a song. I came. I thought of two that came to my head. I, I'm thinking too close because I'm thinking like early, like late years. But Astro World because that was just really, really good. Um, but Childish Gambino, like Awaken My Love. Ooh, what an album! That's such a good album. I did find a list of albums of the decade whenever we're ready. King of the lists. Just name five. I was gonna name the top ten because they're actually pretty. In it's actually pretty interesting. Yeah, do you agree with yeah. that? Some, yeah. of them, some of them I do. <laughs> yeah. Some of them I do. I'm some curious, of them I don't. like, is there any pop? Was there any of them that are pop? There probably Red? is. Here, because here I ready? Listen, I listen to pop too. Number one, To Pimp a Butterfly. Okay. Two, Good Kid Mad City. Yep. Oh, Three, yeah, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. Lemonade. Really? Four, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Five, Man. Channel Man. Orange. Man. Oh, come on. Runaway is a great song. Six, Damn. Oh, so yeah. I, Ooh, I, yeah. I like, I like Seven, Blonde. Eight, A Seat at the Table. No idea. What was that? Uh, Solange. Oh, oh. Too much credit. 
I think it's like Beyonce's sister. The girl who Scott beat the crap out of Jay-Z. <laughs> Nine? <laughs> yeah, isn't it, isn't it Beyonce's sister? Or am I just Basically, making that up? Yeah. Okay. No, I think it is. So we have nine we'll the, su- that, the suburbs. <laughs> nine the suburbs. By who? Arcade Fire. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Oh, they're like an alternate. Yeah. And number ten, Pure Heroin. What? what? Lord. Oh. Ah, thank oh, you, Lord. And Lord. 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 Jesus Lord. made 13, by the way. <laughs> I can't believe Posty didn't time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Posty, I'm surprised Posty or Drake yeah, didn't. I mean, uh, take, take, only take, because, take only cares up there. Posty yeah. can't make up his mind if he's a pop artist or a rapper. So. <laughs> that's true. That's and but that's a the, that's a mixed list. But half the rap industry says, "Nah, we don't well, want." Well, here you want you want a hip hop list. Most needs a gem and should be treasured. You want the yes. you want the so hip hop list of the decade? I think he's yeah. shifting the pop. Yeah, he's shifting the pop, and well, I'm not opposed. Do you guys want the top Wild. ten hip hop list of the decade? Sure. sure. Hip hop. Right. Please tell me that's not Taylor Swift on it. Oh, it's she no, made Taylor ten. Taylor Swift was shown up on the other list. She is not hip hop. On hip hop, she made ten with 1989. She's not. Hip-hop. She's pop. That song, that not none of those songs Wait, were. Billie Eilish, where we go when we fall asleep. That's, that's a pop. Yeah, this, is pop. This, is pop. This, is, this is hip. It says hip hop. It's hip-hop. That's wrong. Hip hop. Hip hop. Right, we'll yeah. We'll go with yeah. that. Then. Not eight. Frank Ocean, Channel Orange. That's not hip hop. That's R and B. I've never heard of that. Oh, that's Six. Song. Robin. Body He's not talk. Dead, but I know it's coming. Robin. <laughs> Five. Lord. Pure heroin. That's not hip hop. <laughs> Four. Casey Musgraves. Golden hour. What is going on? Oh, yeah, Are I you saw ready? That on, like, five this hours. list is no, terrible. Because no. number three is Adele. Twenty one. <laughs> Okay, oh, you yeah. got it mixed Adele. up. Two, ah, yes, Adele. Adele. You got the game mixed up. And one's Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna, okay. She has some hip hop. Rihanna's music since the Rihanna beginning Clark. of the decade. Yeah. Like, that's so bad. Hello. It's, Rihanna, it's drop me. more stuff. So, Hello. are we doing songs now? Yes. Yeah, let's um, go wrong. Oh, I can, so I can, I can start with one. one. I can I start with one. Noah's, Noah's going to start. It's, gonna so, go around. I, it, it's definitely an underrated <laughs> one, but I never thought of this too. Um, when Disney came out with the new Beauty and the Beast, Celine when Dion, Beach. How Does a Moment Last Forever? Uh, 2017. I've never seen it. That made me Is cry. It the one with Emma Watson? Emma yeah, yeah. That, that's that's that movie Carol was just my wife, Emma Watson. Effects and Yo, just like. It's a, whew, it brought me, it brought me to tears, like big time. E M M A Watson, all yeah. the PBI folks. <laughs> Wait, Jeff, you weren't get there it. for that. All right. Um, so are we going to my top song of the decade? Yes. yes. No, I need backstory. My top oh, song backstory. of the decade. Hold on, Greg. Oh, okay. Backstory. Um, this kid on the news he used to be on the news every day until our principal told him not to be because he causes disruptance every day. So. He's so we used to do actual news on our news, and like I guess it was Beauty and the Beast time. And instead of saying Emma Watson, the kid just goes E M M A Watson. That's great. Yeah, that was the story. That's great. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think I'm stuck between two songs of the decade. Not surprised. Okay. Either 90210. Okay. <laughs> Oh come on! That's, that's a good one. <laughs> it is. I I just didn't come to my brain. That's good. At, or um, <laughs> no role models. Um, mm-hmm. Th- come on, they're both. Great. Yeah, actually, no, yeah, another one by him is "For Your Eyes Only." That's like really deep. Yeah, that's a I deep. I actually like "Deja Vu" better. Eyes only. Than, that's just a deep. Like that's like a deep. Deja like that's Vu really gets deep. Me every yeah. time. I think I liked "For Your Eyes Only" better than uh, "JAB." But it was just like it hit him so deep because he was at, like at the end where yeah. he was just like because someone like me loves so, like like someone like you like that much and I was like wow because he just went he like he just gave it all and then just like gave it a haymaker at the end like that it was like oof all right so Jeb top top song of the decade oh let's bring it uh, bring the mic to you take the mic to you. Uh, I know Greg has already flamed me for this being my choice. I actually have two choices. Um, one of which I know you're not gonna agree with, like by logic. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Bohemian <laughs> Trapsody is like one of my favorite songs. Be- really okay. Like Wait, what? Is it Bohemian Trapsody by logic? That is a good song. I agree. Good one. One. Listening <laughs> to on it, I, we're all we're all here. It's a safe it a zone, Jeb. It's okay. I agree. I thank you all for your understanding. But <laughs> this one I know Greg obviously doesn't agree with. It's uh, Stir Fry by Migos. <laughs> <laughs> Greg will say. I forgot right. about it. I'm just going to say. <laughs> that is one of the worst songs on that album. Culture One 
is ten times better than Culture Two. Hey, I don't Wait, think Culture Two. They wrong. made like all the songs under forty-five minutes, yeah, and it shows. Yes. Ben, who's uh, your I favorite? Do have, I do have a question. Are we talking like our personal or most played? Personal. Your personal. Just personal. Oh. And then we'll go. To most that was just the first. Then, then do it for the first off your head. One. Just the okay. first one off the top of your head instead of like. Because I just that was the first one that came off the top of my head right there. Billboard. I was. I found billboards. I'm gonna say Giuseppe and my. Giuseppe on my tiptoe. Um, I I have to go with no role models. Um, just the melody itself is just like instantly iconic. I actually heard a um, my high school jazz band did the melody of that, and it was what fire. Interesting. It was really really good. That's amazing. It was it was like they were just sitting. So it it was for a uh, talent show, and they were doing like the lobby, like you know, just chilling, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And then the one kid goes, "All right, we're just gonna do the uh, the melody to uh, No Romanos," and they just off the top of their head just start playing. Really, wow. that's impressive. It was like, well, it's that iconic. Yeah, it's that iconic. Yeah. Every, I've never like, heard the song No Role Models. Jeb, you're All right, different. stop the podcast. Uh, podcast. We, we have a soundboard right here. Yeah. <laughs> we need like the... Like, the... <laughs> okay. Do I have to put the song... Am I putting the song yeah, on now? No. No, we'll like get copyrighted. copyrighted. Copy, copy, copy. Right. Copyright. Then we'll let the, You can play it for him in the car. We'll play for him in the car. Sloppy, copy, copy. All right, go ahead. Yeah. First one uh, off the top of your head. So, <laughs> That's, I, I looked did. up my Spotify song list. Oh, and yeah, you could have done that. I looked up before he cheats, but then that was May 2005. So <laughs> we're going with. Your oh beat, fam. Really? <laughs> yeah, so we're going wow. with Tongue Tied by Group Love, which was made in 2011. Oh, that yes. That's, a good song. That's definitely a Never heard top of five. I'll, I'll definitely listen to it then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm stuck between two songs. The first one is Better Together by Luke Combs. <laughs> I just love that song. And Something then. By Thomas Rhett. No, the second one's Circles by Post Malone. Oh. Such a good song. A good Bro, song. Such a good song. Alright, so my song. They do this de- every year. <laughs> my song of the decade is any song by G Herbo. No. Go home. Me for I'm Thomas kidding. Rhett. I'm Logic um, is better than G Herbo. So, my favorite song, and like you can ask Greg, was when he was driving or whenever I used to play this on the loop. Um, I have to go used to this. Used to this. Drake and Future. Uh, wow. I have to get used right. to this Drake confusion. My respect. If we're going by most played, then definitely Ten Bands. I have. Ben Bands. Nah, go I, ha- I have. To, I have to go used to. Th- for me, at least, it was used to this used Drake confusion. All right, now. Mine is uh, "Feeling Whitney" by Post Malone, or literally anything by Post Malone. <laughs> <laughs> she loves like her some Toast Malone. Forty-two thousand minutes of Post Malone. Wow, two thousand minutes. Forty-two thousand. Forty-two thousand. Two thousand plus forty thousand. I gotta I'm math like that because um, this is a song from five years ago. Okay. Uh, I saw it live in concert. White Iverson. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, uh, that's, well, that's a good one. Okay. Like I was just doing right. the. I, I guess it's kind of biased because I did the first one off the top of my head, and that's what I said because that was the only song probably of this of this decade that made me actually like cry because I was just like, uh, yeah, my heartstrings. Oh, but I would. I would, I, would <laughs> I would also like to throw up there for um honorable mention um Cloud Cobain. Okay. Speed boat. That's a really Speed good boat. song. I, would, I love that. I, I would like All to right. throw Clout Cobain out there Speed for honorable boat. mention. Oh, you know what I really liked? Wake Up. Wake Up! By um, Travis. Travis Scott. <laughs> that was a really good song. All right. I liked, um, I liked Stargazing. Mm. Especially like the rolly, little rolly, details rolly, that he has in the, like, the, the little piano going mm-hmm. on. Yeah. So I was going like to choose Sicko Mode because that is a really good song. Sicko Mode. <laughs> Should we do? Uh, wow, we that do was hot talk of now? like a couple years ago. They did at a Super Bowl. They all said that they were going to do a Super Bowl. Right. We don't talk about that. Oh, that was <laughs> terrible. That was disgraceful. That was, disgraceful. Yeah. That was not one of Travis's better moments. So wait. 90210, still a bop. So top years <laughs> five years later. <laughs> what was five Bill- years later, still a bop. <laughs> what was Billboard's top song of the decade? Yeah, let's go by. Uh, so we'll do top 20. This will go fast. Number twenty, Robin dancing on my yeah, own. Right okay. Who? The door. Robin. Robin. It's like Wait, breathe diagonally. I first. keep dancing. Oh, I thought they were uh, dancing with myself. No, that's oh, dancing oh, with dude, myself. Good luck, mate. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, the next one is Wreck Rosalina <laughs> Malamente. What are you doing? He's doing the downward dog. Oh yeah. Through the trenches. Trench. Trench warfare. Trench warfare. Where are you finding this? Billboard. This is according to Bill. Okay, Ward. now it's stuck with me. Should we just like pause? <laughs> do we want to do a quick inter? inter- no, just go roll it. Roll okay. It. All right, we're leaving 
<clears throat> Number 18, Sam Hunt, Body Like body like a Back Road. Maybe that hit 18? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he had a big, um, I would say that song had a big yeah. play. Next he is... the song and then he got in a deep Can I have a roof here, please? <laughs> Next is Sia Chandelier. Then it's Silento. Watch me. <laughs> Think about it. Like, there's so many different dance moves. Like, you know, like I remember like how my parents would joke around. Like, you know, like the lawnmower, yeah, shopping cart, me. weed whacker, like, like windmill, cabbage patch. Like, that's like the older stuff. The cabbage patch. But like now we got like now when we're like older, we're gonna have that like whoa, like I yeah. Remember, yeah, yeah whoa whip like, nene. Like that was like, in this century. That was right before I feel old. 2016. What? The well. Yeah. But her brother's like, whoa. Oh <laughs> okay. Gosh. Next is Skrillex, Scary right. Monsters and Nice Spirits. Wow, that was in this decade. Yes, that was this decade. What year was that? Uh, I don't know. 2013. Really? I'm going to say 2013. Wow. All right, next is Solange, Don't Touch My Hair. There's got to be one from don't 2016 in there. Yeah. Then it's <laughs> Tame and Pale, New Person, Same Old Mistakes. <laughs> I, I have no clue who Jeez, this is. Jeez. Jeez. Next is Taylor Swift blank space. Ew, come on. Oh. Then it's. Swift. Like, okay, I, ha- I hate to say it, but you do have to give Taylor Taylor Swift her respect because she was she, a pioneer in there, the though. music industry. Put, like her music out, sucks, but like she made it up there. I was saying, like she made it up there. She put out a lot of songs. She, Old like, a lot of stuff. New Taylor Swift changed my mind. Skrillex, that I do agree with though. Skrillex, Scary Monsters, and Nice Brights came out in 2010. I think we're Ooh, exactly 20 times. That's 12 years ago. 12 years ago. I think we've been on the music topic for a very long time. Well, because I'm trying to get ago. through it, and it's y'all keep interrupting. Ago, 10 years ago. I'm in like. <laughs> <laughs> just, just Next is the Chainsmokers. Closer. Oh, yeah, the then it's the Weekend. House of Balloons slash Glass Table Girls. Then it's Travis Scott Seco mode. Seco mode. Seco mode. I caramba. <laughs> <laughs> then it's 21 Pilots stressed out. Oh, I forgot about 21 yeah. Pilots. I, I saw them. One Tyler, time. Really, I, I, I had dinner I with really, them. Really, really, How? really what? can't stand. I had dinner with them. Okay. Wait, Next is Tyler the Creator, Yonkers. Yeah, no Actually, that was a really good album. Mm. Yeah. I can't get into Tyler. I really can't. He's. You he gotta have a specific. I will taste. leave because it is his fault. Weezer is Africa is next. Weezer. Huh? Uh, don't agree with that at all. Wait, what X, was it again? Weezer. Look at me. <laughs> Africa by dun, dun, Weezer. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, they're trying to get all of the spectrums, I guess. <laughs> next is X, look at me. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for Jack. That was number five. Hey, number four is YG. FT, FDT. How? <laughs> Literally how? Wait, I'm sorry, what? Why? He, he was really fun in concert, actually. Number wow. three. Well, yeah. Young Thug, Stoner. Young Thug. Young Thug. Number two. Yeah, I feel like I'm too old. He's boy, very influential. Boy, right? Number two. Zane, Pillow Talk. What? That was nice. That was nice. That was nice. That was hot. And for number one of the decade, Zed. And Marin Morris and Gray, the middle. You see this what? phone? It's getting yeeted across the screen. Yeah, the middle is the number one song exactly. of the decade. I mean, everyone's a critic. That song got so overplayed. Mm-hmm. Okay, but here's the big question. What was everyone's top artist of the decade? Artist? Post Malone. Post Malone. Ja. Luke Combs. Oh, there's a <laughs> ja. <laughs> ja. <laughs> I'm stuck between three. Why don't you give like a to my genre? Spotify if you give a genre, Malone. that'd Post probably... Malone, okay, Drake, so... and Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> so, like... Artist of the decade? Wait, the you gotta move on. <laughs> this the is thing too much. I've list like. Can we go to Jeb's segment? Okay, will you go to Jeb's segment? segment. This? My Jeb's top segment. three that I listen to oh of the decade are really like controversial. Oh yeah. And for the one is yes, really we'll controversial. Talk about that next. We're, the we're one is really controversial. Next. The other two aren't really. I gotta get ready. <laughs> for me, no, okay. for me it would be Drake. Future, and I really hate the fact that I'm about to say this, but six nine, because I listen. I to love him. I listen to him so much. <laughs> Me too. Like I listen to him literally <laughs> so much. Stupid, I ain't stupid. <laughs> stupid, I go give you Spanish the chance. Spanish slap. Not even gonna lie. I listen. To I listen to his Spanish song. Greg. I smell cap. Ask Greg. Oh, it's it's bad. How much I he listen to I six listen nine. To six nine. I just you listen got to me on the six nine. I listen to him so yeah. much. He got me on six it's, nine, and then I just love his Spanish songs. <laughs> 
don't know I why. I listen to him so much. BB and Mala. Like, the so music good. we listen to is similar, but it's so different. Because he's, he's literally just hard. screaming into the microphone you with like no words. You screaming rappers. think I'm stupid. I, like, I ain't stupid. Well, I like Denzel, who screams a lot. You listen to lyrics. You like the lyrical screamers. I, I get, Denzel well, here's is a the lyrical screamer. Here's the thing with me, because... Because of the football, I like to get hype and a Have lot of hype artists I'm like a dog chasing cars. Yeah. Oh, that's what I did. I got no, like that, that would be the only reason. Like, because, like, I Do listen to a lot of oh, stream Football. That's the only yeah, thing I, I listen to stuff. country and EDM. <laughs> well, it's it, respect. It's an interesting taste. I used to go through, you know, I used to go through a really, like, EDM. Oh, I still am. I still am. Yeah. Very cool. David Geddes. Great.